time has come for us to once again pull out this sword. But I think it may actually be the last time we see Child Link for a while. I'm sorry, Link, but you're going to have to go forwards in time again because you can't actually do it as equipped as you are. But yeah, let's do this. For the last time, let's pull out this baby. And here we are, back as an adult, and look at our gauntlets! I thought we meant to give these to Nibiru, I suppose she did drown in sand, so we might as well use them. But yeah, we have these silver gauntlets, so we can actually pick up some pretty heavy shit now, if you would want to. But yeah, and this beanstalk has grown, so we can actually get the last collectible heart piece in the game. Obviously we've still got a heart container to get, but yeah. So just wait for it to speed around at the speed. Fuck you know, look how fast it's going. Just get ready to jump off. Urgh! And there we have it. You got the last piece of heart. That feels good. Right, um, also one thing I'll quickly demonstrate before I go into the temple. These levers leave me alone. These silver rocks here, we now actually have the strength to lift them up. Oh god. What's actually down here? I forget. Deco scrubs, go away. And the rock is back there and we face for it. Oh well, right, let's actually get on with this and go into the temple like we're meant to be doing. Fuck off, levers, get out of here. Welcome back, said the temple. Yeah, so now let's go into the left because obviously we're too fat. We can go to the right, and now we can actually push this thing that we got the silver gauntlets. Look how big it is. Mahusiv. And also, the symbol, on, the symbol on the rock, they actually had to change the original one. Like, this is the changed one, because it was something to do with the Muslim religion. I believe, anyway. Don't quote me on that, but I know they had to change it because of some religion. But yeah, another Beamos greeting us. He gone dead. Right, so what's going on in here? Ah! Idiot. You should survey your surroundings because otherwise that happens. I completely forgot about that. Right, in here. There's a wolf horse. Hello. You're dead. Right. Um, over there, we've got a Triforce on the floor, so we're going to have to play Zelda's Lullaby, like always. I believe that would drop us a chest. There we go. Let's hook shot on the chest. And I think this will be the compass. The compass. And it is the compass. Very nice. Right, so let's quickly get out of here before we get sucked up by the sand, even though I don't think that's possible. Sand is bad. Now we can go in here. Oh, this room, this room is quite weird. There's some cool camera angles in here, if I don't get killed by massive rocks. See, look! Hello, Link! He's so happy, bless him. It actually throws you off a bit. But yeah, let's get all these rupees. And you notice there's a song of time block there, but we'll get all the rupees first. Because I believe it, yeah, where we are now, it replaces it with there. Uh, so, let's play a song of time. I'm getting the best camera angles today. Oh, there's a skeleton. I thought there was a, oh, a rupee here, but we get the skeleton anyway, why not? And I think the last rupee we need is this one here, so I'll try and grab this one. Can I do it without my hover boots, do you reckon? Probably. Probably not. I'll put them on anyway, just in case. Right. Slip and slide in away. And there we go. I don't know who's putting all these rupees everywhere. It's a bit of a weird mechanic, to be honest. And what's this? 
Lovely. Whoa, not so lovely. Where did you come from? Where did you come from? Your shield is gone. Well, I don't like that. Give me my shield back. In fact, I quite like Link without his shield. We wouldn't be using it anyway because we got the big Goron sword. Right, where to now? We got that key so we can actually unlock that door. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to stand these hover boots because they are quite annoying. I'll leave them on for the time being until they proper piss me off. Right, let's go on through. Holy fuck! Where did you come from? They're trolling us now. It's a good job we didn't put our shield back on because we just have to pick it up again. And he's melting. We got money though. Right, up here. Right, I'm going to take these boots off because I need... I need precision. Equip... Yeah, thank you. Right, we got a load of sun switches in here. I believe some of them are trolling us. There's something here and we can't see it. I'd like to know what it is. It's probably a floor master. Ah, it's a floor master. You are not welcome here, Mr. Floor Master. Kill him. Kill him all! Thank you. Right. Now that that's done. In fact, I'll get that magic. Fill her up. Can we push? Thank you. Right. Like I said, some of these sun switches you don't have to activate. See, that one trolled us, but it gave us a chest anyway. Um, they're all giving us chests. I think some of these chests are kind of booby-trapped, if I remember right. And there's the right one! That opens the door. Right, I'll quickly check these chests, just to see what was in them. If I can get them. Ooh, a heart! But I believe this one freezes us when we open it, if I remember. And it does! How weird. <laughs> yeah, now we can actually push through here. Sorry if the commentary is a bit lacking, I'm just a bit out of practice. Oh my god, I didn't expect that. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Thank you. There was that skullet over there, but can I really be asked to go get it? No. No, I cannot. And there's a switch over there. Can I do anything with that? I may have to put my hover boots back on. And hover the... Fuck! No! Oh, there's a bloody hookshot thing there. Be more observant, Ryan. Right, if we just go here and play the song like we're meant to. How many times have we done this now? Must be like fucking hundred. Ooh, a chest! How lovely. Can we... There we go. In fact, we could probably reach the skeleton. For... Oh no, perhaps not. I know there's a scarecrow up there, but I'm not wasting my time with it. There's our key, anyway. So... Back down... Right, so, now we can actually go through that door. I forget what that switch does over there. I think it's a rusted switch. Oh, there's a chest there now, what the hell? I swear that one there before. I must have spawned in with the other one. Oh, hells yeah, five rupees. Forget what this switch does, to be honest. Oh, it opens the door down there. We'll check this one up here first, though. Hopefully we won't have to do the switch again when we come back out. But I've got a feeling I've gone the wrong way. I think I need to go down first, don't I? Or does it not matter? Oh, these fucking things. Remember these things we got set on fire? Well, we can actually kind of cheat it and just shoot them with fire. And that'll kill them. That's the only way to kill them, is with fire. Kill it with fire! 
Literally. No, oh, and I think we have to take the BMOS out, don't we? Nice. And this switch. Yeah, it just does the fire. What the hell? Am I missing some? Oh, there's another one. There we go. Ooh, a red rupee for me. Ah, this room. Right, so this is one of the more annoying puzzles because you got a blue switch there, which is the pressure one that something always has to be on it. But we need to get through that door there. So we actually have to do it in such a way where we hit one of these and they jump onto the switch and then quickly run for the door. So I'm going to take off my hover boots because I'm going to be slipping around everywhere. Slipping, sliding around. All right, let's get your attention. Please jump. In fact, if I just get all of them to run around. Can we get lucky with this? Oh god, I, I really fucking hate this. I remember when I was a kid, it took me fucking hours to realise how to do that. Any skulletters? No. No skulletters today. Oh, we did go the right way, I think. Oh god, another one of these guys. But we have big Goron sword this time. Let's just fucking wail on him. These are fire arrows. Are they quite effective, do you reckon? Well, probably, because he just died. Oh, well quick. He was shit. Stuck up on hearts. Can we actually knock down these pillars? Because they're full of hearts. I know the iron knuckle can. Let's try with the Goron hammer. No. We are not mighty enough for that. And we're the other side, remember we're over there? What's in here? You found the mirror shield! The shield's polished surface can reflect lighter energy. Press R to use it. And yes! I love this item. Probably one of the best items in the game. I just love the way it looks. Right, we're actually going to pull out our master sword as well so we can use a shield properly. Yeah, look at it. I've always loved the design as well. Again, the, the symbol was slightly different in the earlier versions of Ocarina of Time, like version 1 cartridges, along with some other changes. I, I think I talked about the fire temple when I was there. Apparently there's two chests in here. Are they invisible? They are! What could they be? I don't think it's anything important. A heart! Oh my god! A lucky day. And another heart. How how much of a waste of time was that? Right, so now we can bypass these guys completely. And you'll see there's a ray of light here. And look at this. This is why the mirror shield's so cool, because you can re redirect the light. But one one kind of well, it's not really game breaking, but in Majora's Mask, when you were to walk in the light with your shield on your back, it would still reflect off. But obviously, this doesn't. It's not bad, though. Just a little thing. And there's a key. God, we're doing so good. He lied. Yeah, now we can actually go back down to that door that opened earlier. Or well, actually, do we want to go through here first? I think we want to go through here first. Fucking Beamos. I hate thee. Yeah, it is possible to do, like, well, theoretically do the temples in, like, any order you choose. Because I, well, for some reason, I always used to do this before the water temple. But if you had done the water temple and got the long shot, you can actually, like, skip this entire bit and just do that. And I rolled through that spike somehow. And again, we gotta play a fucking song. Why? And it opens. We got these fire slugs again. I haven't seen these in quite a while. Fuck off. Die. We got loads of fake doors around. You can tell they're fake because they're like protruding off of the wall. 
But with our Goron special crop, we can smash them to pieces. I don't know if there's anything behind any of them. Oh, there is. There's an eye. Anything else? Might as well be safe. Oh, I flipped him over. That's cool. There we go. So yeah, it was just that eye. If we pull out our normal arrows, don't want to go using all our magic. Oh, what am I doing? So yeah, that would do that. And then these weird like web platforms. I don't know what they're actually meant to be. We can jump over to the switch. Puts out the fire. And we have our boss key. Already. I suppose we've already done one part of this temple, so it's a little bit longer. And there we go, boss key. So we can leave this room. What's up here? Is there anything good? We're getting really close to the end. Like, incredibly close to the end. I forget what's actually in that door in the main room at the bottom. I've actually forgotten. Oh god, hello. Fuck you. Get out of our face. Whoa, what am I doing? Sorry. <laughs> I killed you. And we got spinning bubbles. And he's gone in the wall. Fuck. Get these arrows. There we go. More arrows for me. Right, we're going to pull out a bomb. Actually, can we use the hammer? No. This is a bombable wall. So you can hear it. Oh, mind your head. And then if we grab this, we can redirect the light so it's shining through this tunnel. More fucking lizards, or whatever they're called. I hope if I was targeting, there we go. Well, they're well easy when you're an adult. We push this last one. I think they're all lined up, hopefully. Go out this door. Oh, more pots coming to kill us. Right, oh, more pots, and they're flying right over our heads. But yeah, now we've got the light here. Oh god, what's happening? What did you do, Link? Well, the light is reflecting off. Oh, that's cool. So it does kind of reflect off when you're stood in it. But yeah, um, before we do this, can I actually get back up here easily? So I wanted to check what's in that room. There again, I don't care because I, I know I've got everything I need. But we can melt this face with the ray of light. What a mess. What a fucking mess. Right, yeah, screw the door. I don't think it's anything important. It's probably just a skeleton, to be honest. And you know how I feel about that. Let's get through the boss door. those two. What are they doing? Ho ho ho, looks like someone's here, Komi. He he he, looks like it, Koti. Kotek. I don't know how you say their names. What an outrageous fellow he is to intrude so boldly into our temple, ho ho ho. We should teach this fucker a lesson. He he he. Please don't. Oh, loyal minion. Destroy this intruder on our behalf. You got no axe, you idiot. Okay, now now he's got a massive axe. Alright, so I think this is just a basic iron knuckle. Yeah, we're not gonna have a problem with this guy, are we? Oh, there again we could. Break this for me. Oh, 
shit. I did try shielding. Look how much health he takes. Alright, we're out of bombs. What? A hit on the back swing. No, fuck me. Look at my health just dwindling. All that really matters. Have we got. In fact, I'm going to just get my bomb chews out. We haven't been using these things, have we? Have some mice, mate. This is actually a pretty good strategy. I don't think I've ever done that. Oh shit! It's the Buru. I'm sorry, I didn't. I didn't know. Well, I did. I definitely knew, but I'm sorry anyway. Where am I? Well, well. Looks like she's back to normal, Komi. She's just a little girl, but she commands a lot of respect among the Gerudo. Maybe we should make her work for the Great Ganondorf for a little while longer. Then we should brainwash her again. No! What the fuck is your beef? Why'd you do that? I can't stand by and let this happen. I wish I had some more health. There again, I have got three fairies, so I'm going to be absolutely fine. But yeah, that actually wasn't the boss, believe it or not. Well, it's quite easy to believe because there's two nasty witches on the loose. Let's get up here. Look at that stupid kid. He came on his own to offer himself as a sacrifice to the great Ganondorf. With my flame, I will burn him to the bone. With my frost, I will freeze him to his soul. I don't like that laugh. I don't like this flying. Link, why can't you fly? Twin Rover. See how it is, Twin Rover. One of the more memorable fights in this game. I do really like this. Let's try not to fuck it up. But like they said at the beginning, you're going to want to use their powers against one another. So when one uses... Right, here we go. One's going to use ice. Fire it back. There we go. And there's actually two stages to this fight. Oh, the ice one again. Shit. I don't know what the best way is, to target the other one or just literally stand still. Right, who's using what? I think the fire, yep. Yeah. Come on, fire! Get over it! Bitch! Come on then! Now fucking bring it on! Where is the other witch? Ah, there we go. Yeah, I love the mirror shield. It's just such a cool dynamic. I know they've had it in other games, but this is the one that really brought in combat into it. There we go. Die, please. It'd be epic, epic if I could do this without actually getting hurt. Now that I've said that, I'm going to probably die straight away. Right, come on. Give me a fire. In fact, I should probably heal because it's probably beeping. I just can't hear it. Yeah, it definitely is beeping. There we go, I might... Oh, bastard. Right, in fact, I'm going to use a fairy, because that beeping's probably getting on everyone's nerves. Because, like I said, my volume's so low, I can't actually hear it properly. And no, that wasn't a cop-out. I don't want the beeping. Right, who's firing what? You're firing fire, are you? It's your time for fire. Have that. Have the fire. 
We're not phase two, is it? Okay, let's get serious now. Okay, Komi. Kote and Komi, double dynamite attack. Holy shit, what the fuck? Don't you dare wink at us. So, this is... Well, it's quite easy, actually. You're going to want to absorb three of the same power. You can see we've absorbed one ice. I think at the first phase, she will fire, like, three of a row at you. Have that, right. And while that's happened, I'm going to switch out to Big Goron Sword and do a fuckload of damage. There we go. Easy as that. That would take two phases if you didn't use a big Goron Sword, but efficiency is key. Shoot, what a fresh kid. This time we'll get serious, right, Kote? What? Hey, Komei, what's that above your head? I don't know. But you have one over your head too, Kote! So I'm only 400 years old! And I'm just 380 years old! We're twins, don't try to lie about your age! You must have got a little senile. Who are you calling senile? It's going way too quick, I can't actually read this shit! How heartless you are! How can you be so ungrateful? You're heartless! You're ungrateful! They're dead! Come back to haunt you. Please don't. Um, Link? <laughs> Why the fuck? Crotch shot. He hadn't actually got a fucking crotch. What the hell? Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Right, where's our heart piece? Our 20th heart has come at last. Full hearts. you got a heart container. Your maximum life energy has increased by one heart. And we've got a ball. We've done it. And there we go. That's the spirit temple. Not as well done as some of the others. Actually, it is quite a long temple, thinking about it. Or I just suck. Probably the latter, to be honest. Oh, and the blue aura. I've said that every other time, so I had to say it. Who could this be? It's none other than Nibiru. Hello. We managed to save you, then. Kind of. Kid, let me thank you. Hey, look what, look what the little kid has become in the past seven years. Competent swordsman. By the way, I really messed up. I was brainwashed by those old witches and used by Ganondorf to do his evil will. But isn't it funny that a person like me could turn out to be the Sage of Spirit? And now I'm going to fight them as one of the six sages. I'm going to pay them back for what they did to me. Kid? No, Ryan. The hero of time. Instead of keeping the promise I made back then, I give you this medallion. Please take it. I know, she didn't say please, did she? She just said take it. And with that, we have received the last medallion. A lovely orange medallion of spirit. And Link couldn't be happier. Look at his face. You receive the spirit medallion. Nibiru awakes as a sage and adds her power to yours. If only I knew you would become such a handsome man. Please leave it out. We didn't come here for that. I should have kept the promise I made back then. Everyone wants a piece of Link. Even the fish people. Ryan, the hero! Finally, all of us, the six sages, have been awakened. The time for the final showdown with the king has come. Before that, though, you should meet with the one who is waiting for you. The one who is waiting for you at the Temple of Time. Who the hell could that be? But no, we, we won't be doing that quite yet. R um, Reiru or Raru or whatever the fuck you're called. Because um, there's one more thing we can actually do. It is an optional thing. Um, and that is the training grounds in Gerardo Valley. Or Fortress, sorry, not Valley. So yeah, next time, I'll meet you back at 
Gerardo Fortress and we'll try out that trial thing or the training grounds I think it's called so yeah thank you for watching and until next time